What's up gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to say hi in the comments below. And if you end up liking what you hear and see, then by all means, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you wish. And if you do, I thank you in advance. Um, if you're not new, as always, welcome back. Love to see ya. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. We are going to do uh, October 3rd through October 10th. What is going on between Libra and a Cancer? So if you are a Libra or a Cancer, if you happen to stumble on here, but more than likely uh, you're a Libra because most Libras follow this channel. So if you are a Libra or a Cancer um, and you are connected to one of those signs and your person, whether you are just talking to them, you are already dating them, you are married to them, whatever it might be, Libra and Cancer, if you guys are connected, that's what we're looking at. Uh, but just keep in mind, as always, that just because you are a Libra or Cancer, it doesn't mean that any of this reading will resonate with you and your story. So take what does resonate and leave the rest. Don't ever try and force a reading to fit your situation if you know that it's not actually fitting. <laughs> Libra and Cancer. Okay, um, Spirit, please bring through clear and accurate messages for the Libra Collective regarding their connection to a Cancer this week. Libra and Cancer. What is currently going on in their relationship or situation with this Cancer, please? One card. <coughs> Libra and Cancer, please. What is going on in their situation this week? The star. What else? High Priestess. Ooh, okay. Libra and Cancer. Justice. Well, there's you, Libra. What else this week? Ooh. Okay. Death. Wow. So we have all major arcanas here. Okay. I'm going to keep going. This is pretty big. What else, please, Spirit? Libra with a Cancer this week. Libra connected to a Cancer. Two of Needles or Two of Swords. Uh, one card only. Okay. Eight of Wands or Eight of Candles. This has been coming up. Some of these cards have been coming up for Libra. Justice, um, actually even the Two of Swords. But Eight of Candles, the Star, these three have all come up for Libra the last 24 hours. Um, what else for Libra connected to a Cancer this week? What is going on in their situation? Libra and Cancer. Wow, again, Major Arcana is the sun. Okay. One more, please, for Libra connected to a Cancer this week. What is going on in their relationship or situation? Nope, one card only. Okay. Knight of Potions or Knight of Cups. Okay. Wow, these are some big cards here. All right, so we have the star, we have the high priestess, we have justice, death, two of needles or two of swords, eight of candles, eight of wands, the sun, and knight of cups. Okay. So, what is happening here? Um, there's a definite... Uh, okay. Some of you are in the middle of a crossroads right now in this connection. There looks like there... There's a decision that has to be made, or was just made, but I'm gonna say has to be made. Um, and actually, I don't see it, if it's a decision about ending, staying or and pursuing this, or ending and calling it quits, I don't see it ending here. I know we have the death card here, but it's also about rebirth. And when I get the death card, it's usually about a rebirth or transformation, more importantly. And it looks like there's going to be a transformation into something beautiful here. With the Eight of, the eight of Wands, the Sun, and the Knight of Cups. 
So, okay, it looks like in the very recent past between you and this Cancer, or Cancer if you hopped in, like I said, if you're cross-watching, um, it looks like this connection as a whole, uh, whatever happened, there was healing involved and understanding and compromise and things like that. And I think that some of you are listening to your gut a lot this week, using your intuition, not trying to make any sudden movements, especially with justice here. You know, you're trying to right a wrong um, or many wrongs if, if that happens to be your situation. But it's not about jumping the gun and coming up with your decision immediately. And I think this decision here, this crossroads, comes after using your intuition. It sounds like what most of you will be doing is instead of ending this, you're going to have this rebirth. And that's the decision that you're gonna make. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna to start to pick up speed again. There's gonna be messages coming in. Um, there could even be the slight arrows of love that start to hit you in some cases. But for the most part, it'll be messages, it'll be action, everything's moving forward into something beautiful. You, a lot of you are choosing to be happy in this situation, or your person is, or both of you. Um, you know, choosing joy, choosing happiness with the sun. It's The sun is the happiest card in the deck. When that comes out, nothing bad is going on. <laughs> so, and it leads into this knight of potions or this knight of cups, which is all about, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve and falling in love with the idea of love. So you gotta be a little careful there, but it's still early days. So I feel like whatever has gone on in the past that could potentially cause an ending in this connection, I don't see that happening this week. I just don't. Um, like I said, it looks like, this is really good. It looks like either both of you or one of you will be using your intuition, listening to your to your heart, listening to your gut in which direction and which path to take when it comes to this relationship or connection. And I think a lot of this hope and healing that has occurred or will be occurring is going to steer the direction of where this goes. Um, and there won't be a, a stalemate anymore. You know, there won't be this feeling of being kind of blind and not really knowing which way to turn or which direction to go in because it looks like for the last three cards here again that direction is going to be moving forward and i like that i like it so yeah i mean that's that's all i got for you um i'm gonna go ahead and make this a very quick extended and just see what this person wants to happen between the both of you and what their intentions are and obviously what their feelings are for you too and where this is going to be heading because it looks like it's heading in the right directions like in the right direction like i said sorry i can't even talk right now um I'm having a little trouble breathing today <laughs> so all right yeah if you don't need the extended then by all means you're good to go um i will see you next week and <laughs> thank you uh but if you do want the extended it's in the description box below and um as always please be well stay safe and take care bye